All right, so today I will be changing out this part. It's a resistor for the blower motor. This is a manual, so there's two different types. One's auto, one's manual. And the one that's manual looks like this. Looks like this. So this is the blower motor port and this is the controls switches and stuff anyways there's two bolts or two screws that go right through here and hold it into the blower motor right behind the glove box <clears throat> this green part here this is how you can tell the difference between a manual and a automatic resistor this one's manual and how you can tell on your car if it's a manual or not is this right here if you have these little sliders then it's manual if you have an auto button somewhere on here see I have no auto then we don't use the automatic one but the um, the automatic has a heat sink on the back. This one does not. So let's go ahead and change this sucker out. And it's located behind the glove box. Right here. Pop these out. Drop this down, and everything's probably gonna fall out if you don't put a bottle under it. Okay. Let's go ahead and plug this sucker in, shall we? All right, so here's the resistor. Here's the blower motor. The blower motor. Oh, fuck. Okay. Pull that out. Pull this one out. And now we have one, two. We have two screws we need to remove. <coughs> Eight millimeter. Are we still rolling? Yeah, we're still rolling. Eight millimeter. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> wow, that is definitely crazy looking. That is old school. <laughs> Whoa. All right, let's see if the other one replaces it. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it will, though. The pinouts look correct, right? I bet you this was just old, old uh, way of thinking, and then they figured out how to make it better. So this is the uh, placement. Let's see if it works. We're not gonna, um, we're not gonna screw it in yet, just in case it doesn't.
Okay. Slip that in. Dude, it matches. Everything fits. All right, so we uh, went ahead and cut this wire earlier, so we're going to have to just keep it together. So I'll do that for now. We'll see if it works. Oh my God, it works. That was the problem. Rear motor. Back motor. Okay. It works, sweet. That was the problem. That was the problem. We fixed it, guys. All right, so let's check it. So we've got that in now. Front motor is working. And that's what it's supposed to do. So when you put it on these, that's how it controls how um, the fan speed. If you just connect it straight to ground, you're getting full blower motor. Sweet. Rear motor. Front motor. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this all up. Jesus, what's, that? what's in there? Boy, I tell you what, it's in there tight. <laughs> All right, let's put this bad boy back in. Let's put this back in. It's so weird. Double check before we tighten it all up. I'm just gonna put some tape around that for now until I can find what I do with the switch. But the idea is, is um, you know, I get the switch in here and I'll put the switch in between here and then I'll make that the on, 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 off. So it will have a bypass to ground if I need to. Or I'll just leave it like this.
switch. Okay. Let's see if it works. We're good. That's only temporary. Uh, this. Until I can get that switch in there and then I'll just run the switch to ground. So if something happens to this, again, I can just, you know, click the switch, touch ground, and the motor will spin. All right, peace.